Hello world, doing a video here for you on real life, modern demonic activity in high places. Uh, the Ghislaine Maxwell trial is going on and there's all sorts of tricky stuff going on with the case. They're not allowing certain material to be allowed to the public because it's supposedly too sensitive and, and it's coming out too that she was involved in kidnapping these 14 year old girls and younger for sex bribery. Now I did a video on Pawns in the Game, the book Pawns in the Game, and in that book, William Guy Carr talks about the plans that the Illuminati drew up 200 years ago, and that was part of their plan was to catch people in compromising positions with uh, sex bribery. And so here you have a modern day example of it. And when you realize that that's going on, and you have that in your mind and you watch TV, you can see the reality of it happening right in front of you. Because, like, for example, take, take uh, Whoopi Goldberg. I mean, look at how unnatural she looks and look at how she, how she brags about abortion as a, as a woman's right. And, and, I mean, do you really think a woman like her is doing that naturally? Or do you think she's been sex bribed? Now, I can't say for sure, but... The, the stance that she takes and how vicious she is, I'm willing, I'm willing to bet you that she's, that she has been compromised and in a big way. And Bill O'Reilly, remember Bill O'Reilly, the big news anchor for whatever station he worked for? He was accused of sexual harassment and the, the deal that he arranged for his resignation or his release was $24 million. Now, tell me, when does somebody receive $24 million as a severance package when they are supposedly fired or released from their job? No, he was given $24 million to keep his mouth shut because he knows what goes on behind the scenes. And now, recently, Cuomo was fired from CNN because of his involvement with his brother. I mean, think of all of that sexual perversion and insanity that goes on in that realm. And then you have Don Lemonhead, Somebody who is just, I think, a total idiot and sad to say that how foolish America is for watching TV and believing somebody like Don Lemonhead. He's, he's supposedly being accused or, or involved in a case where he assaulted a man at a bar, sexually assaulted a man at a bar. I mean, this is just grotesque stuff. See, so this is demonic activity in high places because in a court of law, where somebody like Ghislaine Maxwell, who is also Mossad, her dad was Mossad. And that's a whole nother huge video. You know, when is America going to wake up to the fact that Israel is not America's friend? I mean, they did attack America in the late 60s. They attacked the USS Liberty and killed over 29 sailors and injured over 70. Nothing's ever been done about that. And America responded to that with a military attack, and that was called off. And that's a whole nother story in and of itself. And, and there's some very reliable sources out there that talk about Mossad and their involvement in 9-11. Um, Dr. Alan Zabrowski, a very reliable source, talks about how the only organization capable of pulling off something as sophisticated as 9-11 is Mossad. And so if you do your work, you'll figure out the truth of that also. But anyway, how can a court case be so manipulated so that, that the evidence cannot be released to the public. Well, that's how powerful Mossad is and that's how powerful the forces are at work. And people even say, well, what's she even on trial for? And that's a good question. So, again, uh, if, if you understand that this is really going on, and I mean, like, look at Joe Biden. The guy can't even hold his own poop when he's out in public and he's supposedly president of this country. I mean, that's a joke. You know, he, he was, he, he's been compromised so much. He's been caught in so many pictures sniffing on little girls and putting his hands on little girls and they're pushing him away. It's, it's incredible. I could go on and on and on. Um, I'll definitely be doing more videos as this goes on. This topic is huge and there's so many different angles that, that a person can, uh, can, can approach this with. I mean, this is demonic and, and, it, and it always comes back to scripture. And I recently realized, too, that, you know, the Bible is not taught in public schools, and that's also another massive demonic action that's occurring, because the Bible is a reliable history book, 
And I know, I've learned recently the, the world history that's being taught to seventh graders about the Aztecs and the Incas and, and the Mesopotamians and, and activities that happened in Corinth. And with them not teaching biblical history that happened in, in the Middle East, in the area of Corinth, that's like only teaching you 2% of what went on. The, the, histori the history that the Bible covers in that whole, that whole reason, region is huge, and it's all verifiable, too. So anyway, that's enough uh, for this video. Hopefully, you guys uh, take this to heart. Again, think about Christ and salvation, giving your lives to Him. He, with Christmas time coming up, he, He's the Savior of mankind, but only if you repent and put your faith and trust in Him. So, hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks again for watching.